Okay, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at um, the practice that kind of goes along with this uh, sampling distribution uh, for difference in proportions. So, first three. So here's our situation. The situation we have says um, Westville High School. Um, uh, at Westville High School, there are uh, juniors and seniors. 65% of the seniors have parking passes. 42% of the juniors have parking passes. The statistics teacher selects a, an SRS simple random sample of 30 seniors and a separate SRS of 30 juniors. Let P hat S minus P hat J be the difference in the sample proportions of seniors and juniors. So in this case, when it says, what is the shape? Anytime we see shape, we're trying to prove something is approximately normal. And the way we do this in proportions is we need to go ahead and we need to take a look and see if our sample size of seniors times the proportion of seniors we have is going to be greater than or equal to 10. And if our failures of, um, in this case, are going to be greater than or equal to 10. So in this case, um, what we're going to look at is yeah, make sure one minus senior greater than or equal to 10. So in this case, my sample size for seniors is 30. My proportion of seniors that have a parking pass um, are 65. So I would anticipate 30 times 0.65. I would anticipate 19.5. That's greater than or equal to 10. <clears throat> now what I'd want to do is I'd want to look at those who don't have parking passes that are seniors. 30 times 1 minus 0.65. That's going to give me 10.5. That's greater than or equal to 10. So we're good on this, the seniors. Now we're gonna repeat the process for the juniors. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our sample size of juniors times the proportion of juniors with a parking pass. So in this case, we have 30 and 0.42. 30 times 0.42 gives me 10. That's greater than or equal to 10. I'm sorry, 30, mistake, I didn't do the math. It gives me 12.6, which is greater than or equal to 10. Equals. And now I'm going to look at the juniors who don't. So in this case, 30 times 1 minus 0.42. And in this case, it's going to tell me 17.4 greater than or equal to 10. So all those, I have 10 successes and 10 failures for seniors, 10 successes, 10 failures for juniors. So what I can say is that this distribution of uh, their difference is going to be approximately normal. Again, the reason this distribution is approximately normal approximately normal. The juniors is approximately normal. So their difference is also approximately normal. To figure out the mean, we're doing things randomly. So both are random, both are random. So what that tells me is the mean of our um, seniors minus our juniors is going to be equal to the senior proportion minus the junior proportion. So in this case, it is going to be 0.65 minus 0.42. That's going to be 0.23. <clears throat> Calculate and interpret the standard deviation. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I need to do the 10N check for both. So in this case, the 10N check for seniors says I'm going to take 10 times the sample size of seniors is 30. That's 300. I have 315 seniors, so it's 300 is less than or equal to 315, so I'm good there. I'm going to do the same thing for juniors. I'm going to do the 10N check. 10 times 30 here is also 300. There are 389 juniors. So I met the 10N check for both. So that tells me that if I wanted to look at the standard deviation of um, seniors minus juniors, I can use this formula that's in my formula sheet <coughs> where I plug in senior proportion, success times failure over 30, plus I'm gonna do the same thing for um, juniors 42 times 58 over 30. I'm gonna plug all that in my calculator and that's gonna tell me that the standard deviation is 0.23. And if I need to interpret it, it's saying that basically the difference in um, sample proportions who have a parking pass
typically varies. Typically varies. 0 0.1253 from the true difference of 0.23. So now in this case, if I want to go ahead and what is the di difference in that one? So what I'm going to do is I want to say, what is the probability that the difference in the sample proportions is greater than 30? So what I'm going to do is this. I know that this difference is normal. It's centered at 0.23. It has a standard deviation of 0.1253. So that tells me that this middle guy is 0.23. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add. So this one is gonna be 0.3553. And I keep adding, this one is gonna be 0.474806, I think. And this one, as I go out here for the third standard deviation, if I add another 12%, it's going to give me roughly 60. So what that's telling me when I look at this is I want to look at the probability that it's greater than 30. So when I want to say a difference of 30%, I want to look here. So what is the probability that I'm going to have a P hat senior minus P hat junior greater than 30%? I'm going to do normal CDF. My lower bound is 0.3. My upper bound is lots of nines. My mean is 0.23. My mean, my standard deviation is 0.1253. We'll plug that whole thing in my calculator. And what's going to tell me this is about a 28.7% chance, almost a 29% chance that um, I end up with a sample proportion dif difference of 30% or greater, that it's not that unlikely. And if you think about it, 65% of the juniors, 42%, 23%, 30 versus 23, not that unusual. So this is kind of like where we're working towards. So again, I suggest you always practice these. So hopefully you practiced it and checked it. Um, when we take the quiz on this, this is basically what a quiz is gonna look like, something like that. So hopefully that helps. Again, please use the reflection, ask me questions if you have anything.